Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm Adam. And I'm Shus. And today, what are we playing? Shaolier. Shaolier Warring States. Uh, this is a game that uh, we had a Kickstarter preview for, um, and we were then given the actual uh, a deluxe Kickstarter edition of it, yeah. which is this bad boy here. Uh, and we played Shaolier a few times, haven't we? Yeah, and I'm actually really looking forward to this. So I, uh, I really like this game. And the last game we reviewed was a uh, dice placement game as well, wasn't it? It was dice hospital. And this is yeah. a dice placement game as well. This is dice warfare. <laughs> um, but yeah, as so, far as I remember it, though, it's quite different. It's very, it's very different. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to do a full game play, game play, full <laughs> gameplay session. Um, so if you if you uh, just want to find out what we think to this game, then fast forward yeah. about an hour's time, and uh, you'll get to our review. Uh, otherwise, enjoy watching us and our hands moving around. So uh, we have set up uh, Shaolier Warring States, the deluxe edition, and we are playing the Kickstarter exclusive Blue Diamond level. Ooh. And when I say, thank you, Shaz, <laughs> and when I say we've set this up, of course, I mean I've set this up. Um, hey, I'm just bringing my company. So. Would you like to read out the... No. But you have the best accent and the best... You say that. It's more poetic. <sighs> there we go. So... Uh, Shos is going to read out the kind of the scenario for this because in uh, Shaolin you always get several different scenarios you can play through. So after, let me just check whether I can read all the words. <laughs> There's nothing too tricky <laughs> in there. Yeah, well, we'll see. You're not reading it, are you? So, in the northern mountain area of Shaolin, a tribe called the V have lived since ancient times. To survive in the rough and rocky terrain, they have developed specific technology. They created a variety of mechanical equipment, utilising an abundant, the abundant minerals from the mountain. Now, for the first time in their history, the V tribe will venture down from their mountain and join the struggle for power. This will spread their new technology to the entire continent. Wow. Tip for this game. That's a tip? Yeah, there's a tip. Here's uh, Shosa's top tip. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's really going to follow my advice. So tip, supplying and leveraging mineral resource becomes very important in this game mode. Building a level two mineral card er during the early stages of the game will give you a strategic advantage. Wow. Well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Getting everyone down the same path there. So there we go. Um, and with all of these scenarios you get in the game, um, you basically tells you, it tells you all the cards you need and what, what you get and how to set the board up. So, it's all pretty good. Rules are over here for when we argue over what, what we should be doing. Mm -hmm. and, and we will try to talk you guys through the turns as we do them. Um, it's very easy playing games just to get carried away with doing your own little thing here. So we will try to stop and let you guys know what we're doing. However, we're doing. I do like thinking out loud. So uh... it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. So show you can be the first player here. Oh, thank you. And so in Shaolin, you go through three phases, the purchase phase, the building phase, and the action phase. The trickiest thing in this game, in my mind, is not just building stuff straight away as soon as you acquire things. You kind of forget you've got to wait till the building phase. Um, so, the purchase phase. During this phase, you can buy for a coin each level one cards over here. Uh, for level two cards, you have to discard three cards from your hand, and you can get one of these that's currently three out. Three level one cards. It can be level two as well. Can I? Any card that's in your hand, you can oh. get rid of. Um, you can also buy an extra dice. Uh, for four gold and if you have any minerals then you can buy an officer and officers you can use to uh, increase your or decrease your dice value by one and if you've got a six you can change it to a one and vice oh, versa okay like a nice yeah and you can use multiple of these guys there's also a trade board up here you can only use this if you have a card that enables you to trade um, and on here we have quite a horrible little thing called a blockage token which you can place this on your enemy's board and they have to roll a three to get rid of that, that lock token. So. Is it okay to use your officer or any advantages to adjust the dice from a two or three? Yeah. That still counts, yeah? Yeah. Okay, love it. So, shows shopping spree with your Take eight gold. Ooh. Though they're not actually all gold. They're not gold, but the, the find is a kind of gold. And yeah. They're, they're, they're lovely. lovely. They are really lovely, nice. But, you yeah, know. And um, so I am going to get rid of my three and pick up three. I'm going to go with three. And that's me for the moment. It's 
Also worth noting, we also began the game with two character cards, um, which we can play at any point in the game. Um, oh, yes. Some of your character cards you have to build on the board. Other ones are in your hand and you use them as a one-off. Shows, do you have a character card? I do it have one. Like you do. <laughs> so who have you got there? I've got the chief um, who's saying, build this card immediately. Um, so he's really motivational. And once during your action phase, every turn, you may adjust the die result by one. Noise. So I don't even need an officer. No, you've got a chief. How do you like that? Well, there we go. Okay, have you finished your purchase phase? Um... Oh, what well, we should probably tell you is how you win this game, which we totally, okay. <laughs> totally forgot to tell you. So at the bottom on our boards, there are these really nice uh, kind of culture tokens here. And if you can get your culture all the way up to 18, which is over here, then um, you will basically win the game. The other way you can win is each palace has 12 hit points. If you can manage to destroy the other person's palace, then you also win. So it's either destroy the opponent's palace or get your culture up to 18. Okay. Um, sorry, to, uh, sorry, I glazed over there because I was thinking about what I was going to do, yeah. <laughs> I do know how to win, All right. Um, so I am actually going to do one more thing. I am going to buy one more, um, thingy. Level one Level card. one card. Uh, get my four back. Go through your card. Yep. Um, did I pick one up? I did, yes. And then... I am going to. I'm going to discard three. What? So that I can grab myself a smelter. Man alive. Is that the discard for? Yeah, just put it over there. It and there's a cannon has been revealed. Okay, is my turn now to buy? Allow it. Okay, cool. I'm going to spend five coins on getting five level one cards. What? I know, right? Oh, but... that's five. Okay, cool. So let's have a look. Now, it's always I guess a... that's one way to play, isn't it? I mean, it is a way to play. Yeah, <laughs> it's always uh, important to remember that you you can buy as many cards as you like at the beginning of this, but you need to keep money so you can actually build your cards in the next phase. Um, and yeah, I think that's. We should have bought quite. more now. Okay, I'm going to discard three of these to pick up is a cannon. Okay, there we that go. That automatically makes me really nervous, but carry on. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've both finished the purchase phase, which means we go into the building phase. Now, during this phase, you can basically pay money for or, or minerals from your uh, from your bank and you can build stuff on the board. You can also unlock your forest. So there's two forests on the board. If you pay three gold, you get rid of them. At uh, any point, if you have buildings on here or characters that you don't want anymore for free during this round, you can just discard them. What? So if you have anything on the board you don't like, because yeah. you've got to play something else or you've run out of space, you can just get rid of it for free. Okay. You don't get anything back from it. Um, and if you have a defense card, like this watchtower, it's got a little defense shield here, they have to go in the front row here. Normally, show someone wouldn't be sitting next to each other playing this, would be opposite the table, but it, it's, <laughs> it's harder to film that way, so that's why we like this. So, shows. Okay. So, I'm going to build my blacksmith. Ah, so, on all these cards, you basically have a value up here, which is what you need to pay to actually put them on the board. Okay. And then... I am. Um, I'm going to unlock one of my four stars. Oh, straight away. Okay. Straight away. Why not? Interesting. Sure. Uh, that one. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, I only have three coins, so I'm not going to unlock any of this stuff because I want to build things. So I'm going to place a barricade down. This is a defense card, so it goes on the front. And uh, I'm going to pay another coin to put a farm directly behind it. Okay, so that's the building phase. And now we're coming to the main phase, which is the action phase. So we both grab our dice and we roll these at the same time. Oops. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing these dice on the different cards we've got on here. So uh, show us if you want to do yours first and explain what you're doing. Right, so because I want to get a mineral, um, but I haven't got a three, I'm going to use my chief to up this two to a three. So I'll get a mineral from that. 
I also have two ones and nothing else to play them on so I'm going to use this um this little row at the bottom to try and get some I guess money right now yeah so I'm gonna go for four gold so I get one mineral and four gold help yourself well thank you one there you go three excellent okay excellent uh, so my farm, I can use this five on the farm to get three gold. And at the bottom, we've got gain two gold, gain two gold, and gain two officers. So I'm going to use this four and a three to gain that. So in total, I have seven gold. So I'm back up to my starting. Well, what do you do for you? <laughs> and now that's the end of the uh, action phase. So the first player token moves over to me. I still hand it over. I appreciate that, but I don't trust you at this point. Um, <laughs> so now we're basically... As you shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm going to spend another five straight out of the... Uh, to get five of these level one cards. Man, you were loving that. Well, I'm desperate to get um, get something that enables me to... Uh... Okay, that's fine. So I bought those. Uh, I'm then going to get rid of three schools because I don't believe in education in my little area of Chalier. Uh So I can pick up... The Smelter. And we have a library come out. Ooh. And that's the end of my purchasing phase. So right. go for a chase. I'm going to get rid of two gold um, to pick up two level one cards. Lovely. And that's all really, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay then. Well, <laughs> uh, moving swiftly onto the building phase then. So I'm going to spend two of my hard earned coins uh, to put a blacksmith out and also get some infantry out there. So I have some Man, way of attacking shows. I do not like the way this is going. <laughs> Especially seeing as I don't have anything uh, right now to either defend or attack. But never mind. I'm just going to try and build things up a little bit. What happens if... Can we move things around on the board when they're placed down? Not really? No, I kind of... I don't... I think it's frowned upon. Once it's placed, it's placed... Okay then, I am going to place the smelter here. Well, okay. Um, for one gold and one thingy. And then I'm also going to build a school. Because oh. I do believe in education. Well, it's important. It really is. Okay, so we're on to the action phase. So grab your dice shows, give them a shake, see where they land. <laughs> Mine have landed off screen, I think, so. <laughs> and yeah, I got two ones again. Okay, well, play some. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my infantry, which deals one damage. I'm gonna gain a mineral over here, and then I'm gonna be gaining two gold. Oh, well. I'm fairly certain I should have gained some, no, I didn't gain officers. I went for gold, I went for cold heart money. Chase. I'm going to gain one mineral. Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm going to use my chief to move the one to six. Can I do yep. this every every time? Every round, as long as the chief's still alive, you can do that. Why did you say as long as <laughs> it's, it's strange how I phrased that, right? <laughs> I really need to get some barricades. Um, and then I am going to get two gold, because otherwise I can't do anything next round. That's it. So... I feel like I've scuppered up this whole game already because uh, you've got all the cards and you've got like a good influx of money. Yeah, I guess. So um, I'm going to get... You've got a lot more out than I do. I got two gold. I mean, the tip told me to uh, to make sure that I've got ways of getting minerals. Yeah, it did. It was a top tip. But so far... It's not done you... Well, you maybe get a smelter on there, which gets you a couple more minerals and stuff. I know, so, but what are the minerals doing for Well, me, the eh? minerals are going to be really handy when you're trying to unlock some of these things. Like, I've got a pretty cool attack weapon, but I can't deal without minerals. So, um... So I'm going to get some minerals. <laughs> so I get one mineral <laughs> from my blacksmith. I get I get two gold from down here. And then my uh, infantry are going to assassinate your chief. So, CNR chief, he's dead. Slongapol, thanks very much. Okay, and now, what did you get? I can't say it on camera, can I? <laughs> 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 
Right, so I've gained one culture, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. Mm. Um, I'm gaining two gold. Oops, I'm just making a mess out of your little towers. Oh, there. it's fine. I, I know it is, but... And then two minerals. Okay, that door. Right. So it's worth noting when you do the action phase, we're just doing it in a, a, t a slightly different way um, how we're doing this to demonstrate. But when we do the action phase, I should apply my stuff straight away because you might want to do something out of one of your cards which I want to kill, basically, if that makes sense. Oh. So, yeah. But because that's because you're a first player in this. Yeah. So. So you're first player. me as well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so just Asli, wait and see. That's the first player now. Right. Right. I have to see how much this is going to cost me to get this out. So we now have some thinking time from Chase. Okay, so you can fast forward for about five minutes. Right, I'm going to buy one uh, level one card. Is that you? Yeah. I guess the difference between my, the reason I got more on my board is you spent three gold to unlock one of your forests, whereas I've, I'm going to run out of space before you do at the moment, right? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. So three cash. I'm just, I'm, I'm just annoyed at myself. To get three of these. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, cool. And that's the end of my purchase phase. Building phase! Um, I am going to build an infantry. Wow. Try and protect my smoker. But they don't they don't protect actually, do they? They just attack, right? They just attack, yeah. Do you mind if I mm, should I move it? And now it doesn't actually matter where it is on the board. Like I can But if I place a barricade later, that matters, doesn't it? Yeah, barricades always have to go on the on the front row. Defense cards do, but everything else can go anywhere. And when I attack, I oh, can basically. Oh, sorry. Okay, so um, it only needs to be on the front row. It doesn't yes. matter if it's directly in front of anything. No, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. sorry. I I maybe I phrased yes, you did that wrong. Very badly. And so the barricades Very they badly. work. That <laughs> or any defense cards <laughs> they have to be attacked first. Um, normally, when you're attacking, you get to pick which cards you want to do. So it shows if you manage to get a five this time and decide to use the infantry, you could choose, you have to attack my barricade. Whereas if I was to roll a six next round, um, I were even, then I would get to pick anything on your board to attack. Beautiful, can't right? wait for so that. So I could attack your palace, I could attack one of your places like that. So yeah. I would remind you that you want me to play board games with you in the future, <laughs> so. Look at all, can we just take a little moment to look, look at, at how many? Look at all the cards I have. And look at me, my measly one. Wow. I've not even got any gold. Well, what am I spending my resources on? <laughs> I suppose I have got a lot culture. more space. No, it's not even culture. I've only got one school so far. Okay, is it my turn to uh, build things? Wait. Purchase. I can purchase. Can I still purchase? No, we're past the purchase phase. Yes, we are. Okay, I still want you to play board games with me, but we're past the purchase phase. So we're building now. <laughs> Um, so I just remembered that I could do something else. Okay. <laughs> We're building. I've already. I've not built yet. You're for the player. Well, I've already built. I know you don't really care about anything else, Dean. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna build anything. So action phase. Are you not? I'm not. Oh, he's got like six cards. He's just gonna discard them to get two level two cards next time. We'll see. Right, roll your dice, Chase. Tell me what to do. I'm asking you, He's please. He's alpha playing here. <laughs> <laughs> alpha gaming your... Uh... Oh, triple six. Go, go directly to jail because of that. Well, then. The stars have aligned. Stars have aligned. Okay, so immediately do those things that you've just done. So you gain one culture. I and four, <laughs> four gold. Okay, um, let's see. So I got a six. Oh, that was a six. A three and a three. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, so I'm going to get four gold. I'm going to attack you. Oh, what are you going to attack? 
Um, I think I'm going to attack your... Um, you're going to attack my school, aren't you? I'm going to attack your school because it looks like you're going for the cultural uh, victory. So. so remind me what that does. So now your school only has one health left. Okay, how do I heal that? So you can heal that by buying these tokens um, okay. and they'll basically remove that. How much are they? They will cost you from here. You have to, it costs oh, I need, so one I need, coin. So you have I to trade. Some markers yep. or something to trade with. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so um, I'm going to spend um, three gold, three coins to get three cards. And that's the end of my go. I am going to spend one of my. Um, Minerals to get myself an officer. Well, mm -hmm. where will he sit? Here we go. You get two officers. Two officers, yep. even better. Awesome. <laughs> Ready for action. They really are. If only they, if only they were able to defend against your attacking infantry. <laughs> and then I'm going to. Uh, oh. I'm going to buy three level one cards. <laughs> These were not shuffled well, Adam. No? No. Well, there we go. Okay. Oh, and can I immediately discard some? Yeah. You want to pick up a library or a watchtower or a railroad? So the watchtower is a defense. Yeah, so watchtower works like a barricade, but it's more powerful. Uh, it's got to be attacked first, and any, if you attack, it deals one damage to the attacking card. Okay, I'm discarding three. I'm going to pick up my watchtower, because I feel like Adam's out for me. Okay, well, you, you're right on that one. Um, okay, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and spend... Just don't mind the geese there in the background. Uh, one mineral and one um, coin to build a smelter. Uh, it's worth pointing out, guys, as well. So some of these um, level two cards have some requirements you have to meet before you can place these down. So the smelter, for instance, you have to have a blacksmith already on the board to be able to do that. Uh, and yeah, that's the end of my building phase. So I have to decide whether I kill them now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to build. Not going to build? Excellent. So, uh, on to... How do you sixes. buy an extra dice? It's four gold uh, during the... The buying phase. The buying phase. Okay, so I'm going to attack your school. So your school's gone. And I get four gold. Um, so if I try to attack you, I'm just attacking your barricade. You're attacking the barricade, And yeah. can that do anything? It just reduces the damage, uh, reduces the health of that. Once you've done two damage to it, it's gone. And then you can attack anywhere else. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. Okay, cool. And then I am going to... God, look at all the money you have, though. Got a bit of cash here. Uh, remember, you can always use your offices as well yeah, to change values. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and so I'm going to change this to a one. To get two minerals. Cool, so one of your offices has gone off. Oh, gone, gone. Yeah, gone, gone. Oh, right. And then I'm going to try and get some money. So I'm going to get two gold. Nice. Okay. Your turn for the buying phase. So as you can see, guys, once you actually get in the flow of this, it can be quite quick. Unless you're playing with me. Well, you've got thinking time in there. but Thinking time, yeah. Okay, I'm going to buy the level one card. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was waiting. Um, 
No, I'm good. I don't want to buy anything. Okay. Building phase. Right, I'm going to build my watchtower. Oh, how much did that cost you to build? Uh, two and one. Nice. So you've you've blocked me off now. Okay. Uh, Let's see how long it lasts for. Uh, sorry, I am going please. to. I'm not going to build anything, but I am going to spend three to get rid of one of the forests. Right, roll your dice, Chase. Show me what you got on camera. So, never. <laughs> Five, three, and a three. Okay. So I'm going to use a five to uh, damage your barricade. So barricade is gone now. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go for the gold. Whoops. Sorry, I'm moving things. Okay, so I get four gold. One, two, three, a cutter. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what we should have done, I thought there was something out I missed. When you destroy a person's level one card, you get a coin. So I got one coin for destroying your school, and you get a coin. Destroying my barricade. Your barricade was level two though, wasn't it? No, it's level one. Okay, thank you. That makes things a little bit easier for me for next round. Yep. And I should have got an additional coin for killing your character card. It's convenient for you. It was convenient, right. So I'm doing my dice now. Six, a four, and a one. Okay. Oh, it's really frustrating. So I'm going to go there and to gain a mineral. And these, the six and the one, I'm going to go on here to gain me. Actually, no, I'm going to put one of these on there so I get some officers because I could really do with them at this point. So uh, two officers. Okay. Right. Um, I am not going to buy anything. I'm going to buy two level one cards. <sighs> Can I buy something even if I can't place it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to discard three and pick myself up a library. Okay. So. Oh, um... wait. So. Can I actually carry on buying? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's not because it's not um, finished, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna try and buy one more. See how that works out for me. <sighs> okay, so we're on to the building phase <laughs> now. Um, Why didn't you want to buy anything? I'm good You're just for, hoarding I'm good your money. money. I'm gonna build a barricade. For one coin. And that's the end of my uh, building phase. Actually, no. I'm going to use this three coins to get rid of my forest. I'm also going to build a barricade. Oh, ho, ho. culture war now. <laughs> and then uh, it's <laughs> I can't fall into that tra trap again. And then I am going to. I'll leave it there. Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use one of these guys uh, to change that four to a five so I can gain two minerals. Um, I'm then going to just gain a four gold. Chase. On camera, like you asked. Thanks. Five, a one, and a five. I'm going to, <laughs> um, attack your barricade. Back to this again. Yeah. <laughs> You've broken my heart. 
<laughs> yeah, look at that's all I've done, Adam. Uh, and then I'm going to gain oh. four gold. Four gold, nice. So a three, okay. Your turn. Uh, right, I'm going to start by buying two of these cards. Oh, thank goodness. Um, right. And then, do I get anything for discarding off my board? No. Okay. And um, that's me. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these to pick up this. Now uh, there's a theatre in its place. Ooh. So this is a special one. Gain one culture for each culture card in your territory. I'm on two, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it should be. Okay, so the building phase shows. So I'm getting, can I get rid of any point here? Yeah. So I'm getting rid of my blacksmith. Um, and I am going to put down a school for one. And then a farm for one. Okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and my turn, I'm going to spend uh, six cash. And actually, do you know what? So it's six cash up front. So you get an infantry, an infantry. And you actually discard this if you place that there. <coughs> and so then I'm going to just get rid of what one cash, two of these. Place my cannon down. Okay. Right. So, three threes. Well, that's not done me any good. So, I guess I'm going to go for all of these. So, I'm getting four gold. One, two, three, four. And two officers. Okay. Like a little police meeting. Okay, what do I get? Okay, so I'm going to be attacking with all my infantry, uh, but I'm also going to play my character card, which is general. Uh, gain three attack tokens, apply them immediately. So. I've put uh, one on each of these. This basically means they have plus one damage. So each of you guys do two damage each. So these two guys are attacking this, which will do one damage to both of those guys, but ultimately kill your watchtower. And this guy is attacking, yep, and that is attacking your barricade, which gets rid of that. And I get three coins, because your tower's a level your tower was a level two card, right? Watch tower. Mm -hmm. Okay. Purchase phase. I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> you know, you can't be. Well done it. <clears throat> now it's worth noting this is that's out the game now, so that was a, like a one time supreme attack on my general there. Okay, to begin I'm gonna discard this card to get three gold. So it's your character card you got rid of, yeah? Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, play by three cards. Um, I 
another color. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Building phase. I'm not doing anything. I am going to be putting on a barricade. <laughs> And then I'm going to uh, put down the library. Okay. Right, so action phase. A six, a three, and a two. Um, okay, so I'm going to use my cannon which will destroy your barricade and I'm going to use um, that to gain four gold and that to gain two gold so six gold was I in two or three I can't recall go for three was I I don't I honestly don't remember let us know in the comments below where Shose was. Um, I'm going to use one of my officers to attack. Okay, this is my barricade gone, so you get a coin for that. And then I'm going to... Use another one of my officers to change that to a six. So I get three gold. Okay. Your turn? Yeah. So I'm going to discard three cards to pick up a theater. Mm -hmm. Um I'm going to discard three cards. I was on five. Discard three to pick up another. Oh, sorry. Can I pick up two rather than yep. three? Yeah. Sorry, I'll take one of those back. Um, and then I'm going to discard three to pick up a cannon. Okay. And that's it. Is that it? Um, cool. So my purchasing phase, I don't like any of those. So I'm going to pay a coin to get rid of these three. I forgot you could do that. This is a fortress, a refinery, and a temple. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy three, three cards. And I discard those three cards to grab that fortress because that looks pretty cool. And there's another one! <laughs> shuffled Wild Shakes. By myself. I didn't shuffle those. Okay, your turn then for the building phase. I'm going to build a cannon. Okay, um, I can't afford to build anything. Okay. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you laughing at that? Uh, I'm going to, well, first I'm going to gain three gold using my farm. And then I am going to uh, gain two culture. And then I am going to... Uh, <gasps> Using your cannon? Yeah, of course I am. You pretty much obliterated me. Of course I'm going well, to. What are you attacking, though? <laughs> as many things as I can. So uh, you can attack one, one location. 
So you can't like split it, so you have to choose somewhere. Remember my palace is also open. Your palace? Yeah, you can attack my palace directly. Oh. So I benefit from that only, so um we'll get rid of one of Oh, attack your cannon. Okay, it's two damage on my cannon. Oof, right. So I can't fire back with a cannon, unfortunately. Uh, so I got a three, a three, and a two. So no attacks this round. Uh, so I'm going to gain four gold with that. And I'm going to gain two officers and two gold. So six gold and two officers. Okay, um, should probably buy some cards at this point. So I'm going to buy two, three, four, five of those. And I'm going to spend four to get an additional dice this round. Shoes. I'm going to buy three cards. Uh, what happens when our end? Uh, we shuffle back all the level one cards back in. Are these all level one yeah. cards? Are you sure? Um, apart from the watchtower, I think it's in there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm not going to sort through them. It's all right. That's fine. We'll just, uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, cool, yeah. So... We'll take these three. Um, I'm going to discard them, pick up the fortress. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so um, building phase now. I'm going to spend one coin and getting a barricade up. Um, I can't do anything. Okay, cool. So the action phase. Okay, cool. So first thing I'm going to do, I use my additional character, an alchemist. Gain one die of any number you need. So I'm going to use that. That's done. I'm going to grab myself this cannon. Um, so that's the cannon. I'm going to do... What are you attacking? That's it. Just one second. I'm sorry. Just trying to figure everything else out. Uh, that's... And then I can change that to a five with two of these guys. Uh, and then this one will be to grab some more gold. Cool. So the cannon, um, I'm going to deal two damage directly to you, to your palace. And then the infantry are going to do an additional damage to your palace. You gain four gold and two minerals. Okay. And then those additional dice I had are gone now. Um, so I'm using my officer to change this four to a five. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack your barricade. That, oh yeah, it has to be barricade, doesn't it? And then I'm going to um gain two culture, and then I'm going to gain two gold. Okay. We're playing to ten, right? It's eighteen culture. I thought you said it was 10 for the No, 18, 18 culture. Okay. Okay, your turn. Punch his face. I am going to... Buy two cards. 
Okay, I'm going to buy an additional dice again. Cool, building phase. Oh, the barricade. Ugh. Uh, I'm not building anything. So, uh, dice. So, two, three, and four. Uh, um, I'm going to gain two culture. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to gain two gold and two officers. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so I'm going to use this to destroy your barricade um, One damage to your palace And then a three and a two, so uh, three is going to go there to get me four gold and a two is going to go to get me two officers Right, so posting phase. I don't want, I will actually spend four of those gold to get an additional dice again, because that's really handy. What are you buying? Nothing. Okay, um, I'm not building anything this round. I'm building a barricade. <laughs> okay, um, and then action phase. So, um, what, do, what can I do? I'm going to do that to gain some minerals. So we do that to gain a mineral. Do that to deal one damage to your barricade. And that to get four gold. Okay. So what are you doing? So I'm going to shoot you. Oh. What are you grabbing? Oh, I'm getting rid of your cannon. <laughs> sure. The cannon's gone. You get two gold for that, for, for destroying my cannon. I'm sad to see that go. Can I just say, like, you know I like this game, but it's really frustrating the way you're playing it because you are not reaching any of the objectives. What do you mean? We're meant to be, we need to get culture. No, right? no, 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 no. So I explained at the beginning, you either destroy the other person's yeah. palace or you get to 18 culture, one of the two. So I've, because of the cards I was, I was kind of, I had, yeah. it made more sense to attack as opposed to just gain culture. But then, yeah, I guess I, I can, I can see that tactic, but I just don't think it's a very good one if I'm honest. Okay. But agree to disagree, I suppose. Well, once you win, <laughs> we, we, can, we can talk about this afterwards. <sighs> okay, so I've attacked you. I am gaining two minerals. And then I'm going to gain two vultures. Okay, your turn. I mean, at the moment you are winning because you're closest to your to, my to 18 culture as opposed to my. And I've got what, 12 health. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm not. I'm not buying anything. Okay, I'm using four gold to get a dice. That I've got to say, the refinery is really handy because I'm just getting an additional dice every round now. So I'm using that to buy a okay. to buy dice. Uh, cool. Building. You're not building because you can't, unless you want to unlock the your forest. No. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to build. So it's two gold, four minerals, and that gets me out a fortress. Mhm. Mm 
I'm just gutted that happened though, round, round there, after I've lost my cannon. Um, right, I'm going to not build anything, obviously. So I just... So I'm going to use my officer to gain two minerals. I am then going to... Um, get two culture. Oh. And then I'm going to get two gold as well. You've pretty much won this now. I feel I feel like this has been dragged out, if I'm honest. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, um, one. Do you not feel like that? Not really. Okay. Do you think it's like a bit of a war of attrition, you mean? It's just going on? Yeah, a bit. Okay, so I'm dealing one damage to your barricade, which destroys that. It gets my coin back. Grand. Lovely. You saved me a job. Um, I'm going to... Uh, use this to change this to a six. So this is going to do one damage to your um, to your library. To my library. Yep. Okay. Um, and then I'm going this three. I'm going to use this officer to change that to a four and deal another damage to your library. So your library's gone. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. So I get two gold for that. And then I'm going to. I'm going to gain four gold. Cool, okay. So I am going to uh, spend one gold to clear this. Oh, I don't like any of them either, so I'm going to spend another gold to do the same thing again. Is it only one gold to clear them? Yep, it's one gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to trade these three cards in to get the cavalry. Okay. I'm not buying anything. Okay, I made a mistake there, but never mind. Do you want to redo no, it? No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. It's fine. Uh, so, building phase now. Uh, I'm going to build the cavalry, of course. So that's three gold and a mineral. I'm going to build a fortress. Oh, oh no. So two coins <laughs> and four minerals. Oh, So damn. there you go, Adam. Damn. All of your hard work. Damn it, damn. Oh. Okay, cool. So, well, let's see what, let's see what we can do. It's got a one, a three, and a two, which is no good to anybody. So we're going to use the three to gain four gold. Cool. Uh, we're going to use the two to deal two damage to your fortress. And we're going to use the one to uh, gain three life tokens. So one, two. And then we're going to put an additional one on our fortress this round. So there you go. But that's got extra health this round. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. So I am going to... <laughs> well, you can't see, uh, Shosa's got a, a nice little smile on her face here as she's trying to figure out how best to... Uh, I'm skip that thing. Best to scuff me. I'll have no Bill Fury, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to gain one culture firstly, because in my mind that's what this game is all about. Um Adam is clearly disagreeing with that, but never mind. I am also going to um adjust a six to a one. Oh actually. No, sorry. Is it okay if I adjust Yeah, that's fine, yeah, don't worry. Well yeah. So I'm going to gain three gold from that. One, two, okay. three. And then I'm going to change my two to one with an officer. 
I'm going to minerals. Nice. So this is definitely going to be over. I mean, not not this round, but the round after, depending on what you buy, what you place. Just because, to explain people at home, uh, every round at the moment, Shos is able to at least one culture. If she gets 18 cultures, she wins, so... Um, oh, that's only if I roll a one, though. Yeah, that's, that's true. I am going I'll to... Pass you up. Hold on. <laughs> and that's gone now, my fortress. Magic healing. One, three, four. So I'm going to buy... Three cards. One, two, three, and that's done me no good. Uh, can I buy officers? Yeah, one mineral to get an officer. Two officers, sorry. One mineral for two officers. You buy one, you get one free. Is that it? You get dice as well for an additional four coins. No, thank you. Okay, well, um, I'm going to get an additional dice and two officers. Right, shows building. So I'm building a theater uh, for three coins. And one. Uh, oh, mineral. nicely done, Chase. I'm not building anything, so. And then I'm going to. I'm going to get rid of my. Oh, so you're still building, yeah. Infantry. Mm hmm. And put them in another school. Now, this probably isn't going to do me much, many favors because I've got. Um, they're all ones. Whereas when I had my lovely little, um, what was it? School? No, it wasn't school. It was something else. Shrine? You're just saying words now. I'm saying words that begin with S. Um, oh, what was it? Theatre. Library. 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 When I had my library, I could use any dice and that was, that was lovely, but never mind. I'm hoping my officers will stand me well. So that's me. Okay, well, I, I'm not building anything. So you just basically need to roll a one or a five or a three, because you can obviously use your two officers to can you, change them. Can you change you the same multiple, dice twice? Multiple. Oh. <laughs> um, there we go. There we go. Shows has done it. Well, it depends on what you do, actually, Shows. So I'm going to use <laughs> an officer to change this five to a, six, to a one. No. You need to do two officers to the other, yeah. Which... I'll find that later. So the officer is escape the table, is on the ground, on the so floor somewhere. For my lovely theatre, yep. I can gain one culture for each culture card in my territory. Does that include my theatre? See, card? I'm saying that, I mean, it is a culture. It doesn't really it matter either way. So go all the way to 19. Whoop, whoop. Oh, fair. And then fair. finish off the rest of your turn so I can also do mine. Oh. I mean, I think it ends <laughs> immediately, but um, fine. This is gonna be the, the... I will. Um, I'll gain two gold and two officers. Just to round it out. So, as you can see, guys, the cultural win is the way forward. Um, I kind of find with this game, if you manage to attack people, uh, if you manage to, you can cripple people early, but if they get a, a foothold. It's very hard to come back from. So, uh, we got a five. We're going to change this to a four. So, I've done five damage to your uh, big temple fortress. It's still going, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I've got a one, so I'm going to deal one damage to your fortress. How many more do I have to hit? One more? I think two more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it. So too late I'm that. going to uh, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna gain myself four gold so I can uh, buy myself a nice little home outside of Chase's kingdom. Do you think I'm gonna let you survive this? <laughs> well, you've got a, well, you've got the can and you can probably hit me on the way out. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, well Your done. Your life is sacrifice. Well done, shows for a victory. Okay. So, we have just played Shalir Warring States. Yes, we have. And it took us a bit longer than we expected it to. Normally, this game takes us around 45 minutes, probably. And um, I think there's a certain point in there you can kind of sense shows his mood change a little bit. Uh, it's when we'll... I go really, really quiet, and you can just probably hear me sighing a lot. <laughs> feel the tension in the room feel the there. Um, so, uh, like always, we'll go through a few things with this. We'll go through the components of the actual game. We'll go through the gameplay itself. We'll go through, um, yeah, our thoughts on the general. How, how good the game is or how bad the game is. Okay. Um, now, we have already done a review for this game on our channel, uh, but this is this is like just another another review. I didn't realise you've already Yeah, we did review it, but like back in the day, and we didn't really show off too much gameplay from it either. So this is a review of this gameplay session we've just done. Mm -hmm. The um, the scenario that we picked was one which was a Kickstarter exclusive one. So it's got some cards in there which you wouldn't have gotten a, a non Kickstarter exclusive version. Yeah. Um, oh, indeed. So let's go for components to begin with. And this okay. is the deluxe edition. Um, I don't know what the regular edition things are like, but um, but yeah. Straight off the bat, let's talk about the the boards. What do you think of the board shows? Yeah, they're fine. They're uh, they're very simple, quite effective. Um, they've got lots of different options on them. I think it's all uh, quite inclusive. What I kind of forgot about until, well, you'll probably hear it in my voice when when you realise. But um, is that you've got your palace, which is obviously you lift it up. Yep. Um, your main like. Okay. What would you call it? Base? Headquarters? But it's your main life group. Oh, your li it? yeah, yeah, it's your hit points, yeah. It's yeah. your life force. So um, that's enclosed in the board, which is great. You get all your options, you get your uh, tracker as well, and you get all the little different uh, places where you can place your village components. What are they called? Yeah. Cards. Cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, where you can place your cards. Sorry, I, I for some reason I thought there was like a better word for it. There probably yeah. is. Um, level one, two, and level two cards. So okay. uh, the cards themselves, um, they uh, the artwork on these, I really I like lovely, them. They're, yeah. they're really nice. They kind of remind me of like um, what you'd get on some Facebook games. Do you know what I mean like like kind of Farmville oh, kind of yeah. stuff? I I like, have to say I've never played them, but from all the ads that I see constantly, indeed, right? Like, it does look quite similar, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the nice thing about the cards is they have everything on them as well, yeah. so you can see how much they cost, um, what they do, um, and it's very easy to like the the purchasing phase is quite easy to get through because you yeah. can just see from looking at the cards what they do. And then you get some special cards like the fortress, which we played with in this one, mm -hmm. uh, which like more times than we needed to really. Yeah, uh, and they've got a different background, like a different edging on the other ones, so you know that they're. Uh, that's like a that. like it's a wonder or something. So uh, they're the cards. Uh, what do you think about the dice in this show? The dice are yeah, they're nice. I actually have to say that I didn't really give them a lot of uh, attention when we were actually playing, but they are quite nice. So I can't really. Yeah, that's them. I think that's in focus. Yeah, there. so you can see there's the number, and then there's also a number of stars I get, and yeah. a bit of a constellation. So if we look at number six, it goes to six stars, and then number six. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, they're pretty good. I think they're good. quite nice. They're, yeah. uh, and then the coins? I So I really like the coins. I, I don't know, there's something nice about just getting a weighty coin, isn't there? Oh, weighty coin yeah. is great. So you've got silver and gold there. and My one little pet peeve, um, and I feel I feel like in every game that we've reviewed, I've nitpicked little, over little something. Nitpick yeah. Like, you know, shows, but, shows his nitpick is... Is that you're, you're constantly saying that you're trading gold, but... They're not gold. They're silver. So, <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Um. I. I just. I. 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 They're lovely, lovely components. So I'm not really complaining, but I'm a little bit because, I mean, the the five pieces. They're more of a gold kind of color. Uh, yeah. So we just refer to them really as coin coins when we're playing. We um, didn't really. And then we there's a... gold, but they annoyed me every time. Um. <laughs> then you've got like a bunch of stuff like you've got all your kind of die cut components, which we. I mean, you've seen in the video if you watched it. Um, Why would they have watched it? I mean, you've though? skipped straight through to this bit, right? Uh, so yeah, so that's that's what you get. And you also get a nice little organizer in the box as well to show you. And if you have a look at my unboxing video of this, you'll see all those components in a bit more detail. Um, or just zoom in on the uh, on the gameplay session we did, and you'll see as well. Um, so components, marks out of 
15, what would you give them? Out of 15? Yeah, 15. Why? Arbitrary score, just as a number I picked up my head. Why don't you do it on a basic? You could stat your scoreboard. Oh, I have the culture track. Yeah, I'd probably well. give them... Like, probably a 17, 16 or 17. And the only reason I wouldn't go for an 18 is the because coins. of the gold coins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the components are really lovely. They're great, aren't they? What but would you say? I'd, I'd go high as well. Like, they're yeah. really nice. They're new, nice and tactile. They yeah. look good on the board and stuff. And the artwork and is great as well. Also, can you just show the uh, the counter, like the tracker? Oh, yeah. The, uh, I the didn't, culture tracker. Again, I didn't realise until the very end. So that's your little uh, tracker. And at the very end, Adam put mine down on... So go all the way around and it actually fits over perfectly. It's lovely. Wow. It's like they planned that all it, along. I know, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's there was a lot of like little things that were quite nice features in it. Yeah, and the rule book itself is really nice and laid out very well. Um, uh, obviously, I haven't read through. Sure, it's already seen it, but you've got like it's very glossy kind of finish on it. See, the lights in this room are kind of going off there but it does talk you through each of the rounds there's a few questions you have when you're playing this game and that most of them are kind of covered by what's in the rule the setup's great as well and what's really nice is you get a bunch of different um kind of scenarios in this so although we were playing a one versus one game mm -hmm. um that game we played tonight would be vastly different to a different scenario because they change the cards you play in there. So oh, okay. all those kind of uh, cannons we were playing with, yeah. we wouldn't be playing with another one. So it might force you to go down a different route. Okay. So there's that. So it's replayability. Um, and yeah, you can play this um, up to four players, I believe, because uh, you've got four different kind of boards. Um, I would quite like to play it with more than just the two of us, because I think I've only ever played it just yeah me me versus you. Well, we'll have to arrange that once uh, once lockdown's done. Yeah. Done. We'll uh, give this a go with some more people. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, so let's talk about um, gameplay and how easy is this to learn slash teach? Would you say? Um, yeah, fairly straightforward. I would say like there, there's quite a lot in it, but it's not. Like we, I like you said, we had to consult the rule book a couple of times, but nothing. There was no major real um, disagreements or it, it misinterpretations of the rules. I yeah. feel like it, what you, what we were trying to achieve was quite different, and that you again, if you watch the video, you could probably tell it really wound me up. Um, but yeah, I th I think it's it's just the gameplay is nice. Um, all of it, like like you. Adam said um, all of the cards and everything that you're doing, it all shows you on natural cards at a glance what you can do. Um, there were a couple of different, um, what, what do you call them, cute cards? Where you can Play raids. Play raids, yes, where you can just uh, see all of your, your steps and the different rounds and what you can do with each. So yeah, I think it was all right. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very easy to teach. Um, like it's laid out really well on the rules. Uh, mm -hmm. It goes through each of those sections pretty well. The bits where we had to refer back to the rule book is when I haven't played this for a while, so I've mm -hmm. forgotten the fact that oh, if you manage to kill an opponent's like card, um, then you get coins for that. I I, I knew there was something about that, but I just had to have yeah. a quick refresher. But to be fair, it was in the rules. The only thing I wasn't quite sure about the rules is um, discarding character cards once you play them. But I'm fairly certain they're like one time only kind of powers because when I use that for my guy who yeah like, except for guys you put until, on the board but um until Adam killed him until I killed my first chance I got rid of that guy <laughs> um so yeah so um like I said I think it's quite easy to teach quite easy to pick up yeah uh, the play rate helps um gameplay wise th now this is this is kind of the bone of contention here right yeah. this game can be very frustrating um if you are being picked on per se or if you're if you're ha being attacked and you haven't got any defense and you're just waiting for the cards to come up to get your defense i think the game we played tonight was a perfect example of how uh how you can still win even if you are getting you know attacked quite constantly, you know constantly yeah. getting attacked because uh, this game can feel um i played this with um up to four players and i know playing three player games uh, naming no names who I played with, but um, I was uh, yeah I kind of felt hard done by. You don't talk by. to them anymore, I don't, right? Yeah, I, I've cut them out of my life because it's one game. No, no. Um, so yeah, so I I played a game as a three player and it was one versus one versus one. So it wasn't like two against one or anything, but there is there is a mode for that. Um, and what I found in there was I was trying to go for a cultural victory, mm -hmm. and I yeah basically from the start of the game I was getting attacked and attacked and attacked and uh, it was very frustrating for me to play that because I just didn't and have a card to come back with. to me 
And yeah, but it's one of those games <laughs> where when you get the cards out, you have to play with the, the cards you've been kind of, you've drawn, right? Well, so... not, not necessarily, because like I was getting lots of things, like but I chose to go down the cultural route. You took the high road, right? Well, no, because like in my mind, that's how you win, is you go for culture. Because the way, so I, the way it was being played was that, I was I was clearly going for the cultural so to try and get my, my marker down to the end. Um Adam was trying to basically destroy me and uh and kill all my forces and destroy my palace. Um and it was just really frustrating, like really just infuriating really as it were. <laughs> because I it felt like it was just dragging on because I knew that I had to like counter and defend myself. I knew I had to like get the barricades up and it just felt like it was dragging out the game so I didn't and I didn't ever feel like you were really going to kill me and maybe maybe I should have been more worried about that but I didn't really feel like it was an imminent threat it was just annoying more than anything yeah but I don't know whether that's just the way they game played or I mean I'm a general annoyance anyway well <laughs> right? no but the, the thing is so Adam, Adam said we, we've played this a few times before and I distinctly remember that the one other time where Adam did it like this and um, that he was kind of you it was a lot more competitive I suppose and um, in that you were trying he was actively trying to attack me and it was just really frustrating as well and I still ended up winning that time as well so well, I just never learned <laughs> I, I no but I really like I don't really feel like it added an awful lot obviously it didn't pay off for you either <laughs> So, I don't know. I guess like, the, the thing with the attacking in this game is, like, you can... If you didn't have the attacking in yeah. there, there would be virtually no way to interact with the other people in I, the game. I appreciate that. And I think there is there is definitely a benefit to attacking in that I feel like if, if people start to get um, too strong with their their culture or their you know they've got too many too many schools those kind of things out then yeah you want to attack so that you can destroy those buildings and then you can set them back but i don't think like just going for a straight out attack route mm -hmm. is a good way to play the game however that is very much my opinion because i hate like really competitive games because you're uh, a very competitive person <laughs> yourself right and if, <laughs> if you're not winning then it's it's well, frustrating well yeah for, yeah for the both of us really it's, it's a lose lose really <laughs> but but no it also like i don't think anyone enjoys feeling like they're being like yeah picked on or which is which like, is, this game has that take that mechanic which yeah. is like yeah you are essentially picking on somebody but i don't think it has to be played like that and it doesn't and the thing is i played multiple games of this where it's been culture all the way and culture seems like i found with this game if you attack early on then you can win earlier on but culture's like kind of the long work game for you? Has it worked for i don't think i've ever uh yeah yeah the person who shall not be named uh my brother um <laughs> managed to like win on a on a like a just straight out attack yeah. um and that was a different scenario of playing so we had different cards and it, i think it was more of an aggressive like aggressive deck anyway yeah um but yeah like i part of the reason i i mean part of the reason i did play it this way was because i thought we are filming this and it'd be good to see someone else's like see me lose my, <laughs> lose my patience <laughs> is that what you wanted to see? but no like see both both sides of the coin on this yeah. one so you can see like how attacking works and how how like uh how you, the, the culture route works yeah. and it was frustrating early on for you because i had quite a lot of money and i also yeah. had like a lot of cards on the table and I, you didn't and that was yeah hard. i felt like the balance was up but that that was uh, definitely on me and i feel like i made some bad decisions early on which i think generally they paid off in the end so i, I got yeah. i sold off one of my um or i paid to get rid of my forest uh quite early on which i didn't really need to do because i had a pretty much free board and what else did I do? I did a couple of things that, like, at the time seemed like a good idea, but yeah, yeah it, it put me on the back foot quite quickly. So we had a top tip from the uh, from the actual scenario itself. Oh yeah, that was what it was. So I was trying to get more minerals because it said try and get more minerals. Yeah, which yeah. It, I kind of it was a good tip because yeah. near the end of the game you needed those stronger weapons and defenses and yeah, stuff to kind of help out. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, what would what would your top tip for this game be? If you were telling someone to play this, like, what would your top tip be? Um, get some good barricades. 
That is 100% like, what I was going to say. I, I would barricade say yourself. barricade yourself. Um, get like that. Was it the fortress? Yeah. That we got and it had like. Watchtower as well was good. Was it the watchtower then? I had, we both had one. No, that was the fortress. Yeah. And they both had 10 hit points. So then if you yeah. had that and then you have like a cannon or something good to attack with. Then you're you're kind of on an even playing field unless yeah yeah so I I don't know I would uh, yeah that'd be my main tip I, my main tip is the same mm. uh, would be barricade early if you have barricades do yeah. not discard them put them there just to kind yeah. of help yourself get yourself in a position of power really yeah because um, then you can do whatever you want really can't you and that was the thing like, I felt and that was what was frustrating me was that I just felt like I had to keep on building up my barricades like every other round yeah. because. Adam would then destroy them and then I have to start again and then it just took me like a little bit longer so like I say at points it just feel like it was eking it out yeah and I don't know I didn't really get a, as you can probably tell I didn't get a lot of enjoyment out of it I saying that though I really like this game okay. I think I think it's a good game and like I say we've played it a few times and I maybe wouldn't play it again with you but I'd play it again <laughs> Well, that's a shame. <laughs> no, but like, I, I no, I, I would definitely play this game again. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, because we are going to be playing this again. Not right now. <laughs> no. uh, but we also do have the, slightly off camera here, the uh, Shalia Great Houses uh, expansion as well, Ooh. which adds things like quests in there. Oh, let's have a look. And also adds um, additional houses in there where you can basically get can special abilities. Guy? Oh, you can, the guy in the middle. He, that's a house you have to unlock. And then they help you out with things. Anyway, um, one thing I would say... Ooh, the guy with the monocle. Well, there we go. Um, one thing I would say, um, we didn't use the market whatsoever. We didn't. Market was totally like a non-event for this particular game. Though there were a couple of points where I was going to go down the market route and then had to barricade up instead. So Depending on who you're playing. I, so when I played this before, the market changed every time as well because you've oh, got okay. six um, six tiles on there, which are always the same, but there's two blank ones which change depending on which um, scenario you're in. Or oh, there's four on there and there's two which are blank. I can't remember. But basically there's two which are changed depending on the scenario. Okay. And some of those all really help you out with your particular like approach. But, um, but for this one... It didn't really, we didn't use it whatsoever because no. you couldn't afford to because I was yeah. attacking constantly. Um, and yeah, I had no reason to go to the market because there's nothing on there I yeah. wanted really. You already had all the cannons and all the infantry. You just needed one cannon. Those cannons were, were pretty, were pretty good. good. They are good. And if you spent a mineral, you could atta attack again with it, which was pretty impressive. Oh, speaking of gameplay, one thing that I, frustrating as you're playing but actually really good for balancing out the game i think is that you could only get certain things in certain ways so you have to trade in your um level one cards to get a level two card and then um to get a an officer you have to use a mineral right and mm -hmm. then what else there were a couple of things that those kind of things were really good because it didn't mean that you could just get a load of money and then you're, you're sorted exactly um it, it meant that you have to kind of really think and plan what you, you had to doing. manage your resources didn't you yeah, and, and kind yeah. of time things well yeah um yeah and the fact the first player changes every round as well so like you could Perfect. be on the defensive one round and then the next round you're going first so you can really do some I mean, damage i never really felt like i was on the offensive but the cultural offensive the cultural um <laughs> But yeah, so um just trying to build my schools <laughs> before Adam could knock them all down again. So um we always choose components from games when we are kind of reviewing stuff. Uh, well we're not always, but we used to, and we we like doing it. So I'm not doing, but I can't remember what we do them. Um okay. so um what I'll say is So let's just use the dice. Oh yeah. What what number would you give this out of out of six from a dice point of view? I'll let you reveal. Five. I was going five. I should yeah. have got it first before I said that. But yeah, this is a five for me. Um, it's a game I enjoy getting to the table. It's really easy to teach. It's mm -hmm. fun to play. The components are really nice. Yeah, they um, are. You have the odd session where it can be a bit frustrating for players at the table. Um, but you can get with most games, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, in fairness. And like, even though I was really frustrated, um, I, I would definitely... It hasn't put me off playing this game again. I, I would definitely play it again. I might even play it with you again. What? I might. So excited about the the expansion. <laughs> See what that brings. Oh, I just want to be the guy with the monocle. <laughs>
<laughs> I could arrange that. <laughs> thank um, well, thank you so much for watching this. And if you enjoyed our, uh, our gameplay, then please leave us comments below. We always enjoy reading them and, and finding out what charming people we are uh, to, to all you individuals out there. Um, but yes, yeah, so thanks, thanks for watching. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I highly recommend that you follow us on those things so you can see more of shows and a little bit of me as well. And of course, Jamie and Will as well. They're doing their own content at some point. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Mm -hmm. um, you never did the recommend by or... It's just skipping past it. So forget all that. I mean, would you, you want me to just take over? I mean, why not, right? Please go. Um, so what were you going to do? You're going to say the recommend? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Would you recommend, play or buy this game? Personally, Wait, this... no, I'm missing... No, that's right. Is it? Is one of them not like just? I can't just remember. Just never we'll have to watch. Never play again. I don't think recommend is avoid. one of them, right? Is a play it's by or avoid? We can't remember our own, own format here, guys. So there we go. So what I mean, was the it's question? not my YouTube channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so would you not recommend uh, play by or avoid this game? I would avoid. No, I would uh, definitely buy this game. This is one which. Um, yeah, I played lots of times. It's really fun, really easy to teach. Um, last time I went to a board game cafe, I took this with me because I was like, yeah, it's great fun. Um, and everyone I've played with has really enjoyed it as well. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's definitely a buy for me. And yeah. show, same question to you. Would you buy, play, play or, or, or avoid? avoid BPA? What would you do? It doesn't sound right. It doesn't. Play. We did something different, I think. Yeah. What would you What would you do? Um, I would definitely play. Um... I, similar to some other games, I would recommend for some people to buy it, but not for everyone. I think, like, some of my friends, I think, would really enjoy that game. But if you were, like, actually, maybe if you are new into it, you could pick it up. I think it's, like, a little bit compl complicated for, like, an entry-level game, maybe. Okay. I don't think, if you didn't have someone who was, like used to explaining uh, game rules i don't think you'd pick it up that easily but it's yeah definitely play buy for some people okay there we go mm -hmm. great well or avoid if you're gonna play with a really competitive person who's gonna <laughs> go on the offensive and attack you constantly well there we go um <laughs> lovely we'll have a nice long chat after this video i'm sure <laughs> yeah, sounds that well. way um but yeah thank you for watching guys um and if you spotted us making any mistakes, then please leave them in the comments below. Which I'm sure we did. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I think we pretty much got yeah. this, to be fair. It's very rare, right? I feel that like, confident. Or no, normally I feel very confident about a game, and then like afterwards I'm like, oh, there's a million comments that I played it all wrong. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, please stay safe and keep rolling. Let me find that officer. He gave his life so that I could win.